yeah today i'm going to be showing you how to build a 5 volt dc charger so if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to the end of this video to understand share like click on the notification button to get notified so you can see the chargers are well charging thank you very much yeah good evening guys today i'm going to be showing you on how to build a 5 volt charger if you are new here please subscribe to my channel the great phone repairs it gives me motivation to do more videos so click on the subscription button click on the bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video and also share with your friends if you learn any good thing from the channel so stay tuned as you follow step by step you will understand the procedures in building a 5 volt charger so the material needed we need a step down transformer to that will step 220 volt to 6 volt ac volt we need a diode with the no modern number of the diode should be in 4007 and we need a resistor 1 kilo ohms capacitor also ceramic polarized capacitor 1000 microfarad and 25 volts why would choose you you need to choose a volt higher than the uh, the required volts you are asked to build so we need 25 volts we are we are required to look for 5 volts to build a 5 volt charger so we need 25 volt that is higher than 5 volts so now we need a mica capacitor we need a voltage regulator with the model number 5805 yeah so we need a lead that is a light emitting diode and we also need a breadboard and a vero board and need, we need a jumper wire so next i'm going to show you the circuit diagram this is circuit diagram for the circuit this is the circuit diagram and now i'm going to be explaining this circuit diagram to you so this is how it works this sign here is the transformer so this is the plug this is the primary coil of the transformer and this is the secondary coil the primary coil because it's a step down transformer the primary coil is higher in tons more than the secondary coil so now the primary coil the 220 ac volts will now from the plug after plugging it this is how the the the, the ac wave sign looks like then the current we step the Transformer will help in stepping down the 220 AC volt to 6 volts. That is the stage 1. To so step down the 220 volt to 6 volts after you have plugged it to the power supply. Then the stage 2 is called the rectification stage. This is where the diode, 4 diodes are connected. They are bridged. They are connected together. 4 diodes, they help in rectification. Diode help in rectification and allowing current to flow in one direction. So what happens here, when the current comes from here, it comes, it flows in this direction. And when it comes flowing in this direction, this place blocks it. It flows from here. Then it flow in this direction. It help in flowing, help current to flow in one direction. So now this is how the waveform will be. The rectification means helping to cut the negative half circle of this wave sign. This is the negative half circle and this is the positive. So the diode help in cutting off the negative half circle and leaving us with only the positive. So that is what the rectification stage does. This is the rectification stage. Then we we'll move to the next stage. The next stage is the filtration stage. This is the filtration stage. This is a capacitor. This is a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Microfarad capacitor. The 1000 microfarad capacitor, 25 volts. 25 volts. Ceramic capacitor, polarized. Capacitor, polarized. Polarize. The mean of polarized means it has a positive and a negative side. That is the mean of polarized. So the work of this capacitor, after the rectification stage, some cur the current flowing in one direction to the ceramic capacitor. The capacitor is help help in storing electric charge and also help in filtering out the AC ripples that escaped from the from the the rectification stage, that is the diode. To this place so the capacitor help in filtering those ac currents that is the work of the capacitor converting it to dc currents 
so after the wave sign from here has been like this the, in the filtration stage the wave sign will change to this form but it still sees volt sees dc volt sees direct current volt this is sees ac voltage and now is giving us sees direct current volt so we are asked but remember we are asked to build a 5 volt dc charger that can charge your phone so a 6 volt is harmful to your mobile phone because it will condemn the phone so we need a 5 volt so we'll think of a an electronic component that we can use to step down the 6 volts to 5 volts so the best one to use we will need to use uh, either we use a zener diode or we use a a voltage regulator so in this place i'm going to be showing how to use the voltage regulator to build it because using zener diode is is another method but this method i prefer so we'll be needing a, a, a voltage regulator of 7805 so this model number is very necessary the last digit should what you that is what you'll be considering we are required to look for five volts so it's to be zero five voltage regulator and the voltage regulator have three legs the input the base and the output so when the current from the after filtration the current the positive side the current enters the input then it will take this out the base will be connected to the negative side of the ceramic capacitor and the positive side of the the, the capacitor should be connected to the input now the, the after successfully the voltage regulator have successfully stepped down the sys dc volt direct current volt to five direct current volt it will then move to the stage four this is the stage the stage four i mean this is the stage five this is the stage five this is your mica capacitor the mica capacitor help in removing the remaining ripples that escaped from the from the the first ceramic capacitor that is the work of the mica capacitor so the mica capacitor help in fitting out the remaining ripples right of the ac volt to give you a pure dc volt this is the sign from this waveform is direct dc volt now the help of this resistor one kilo ohm should be connected to your lead this lead light emitting diode is help in showing you when the the current is flowing in the circuits it will light up when the current is flowing so if you connect this lead this led direct to this five volts it will damage the led so you need a a one kilo ohms resistor that will step the current down to not have not to be, for it not to be harmful to the led then after that stage now you can get your five volt dc charger well working so now let's move to the next step i'll be showing you how to build it on your breadboard before building it on your variable because the breadboard is a temporary board where you can build your 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 electronic Project before so now converting it first to your connection done very on board. our breadboard. Before you do anything, as an engineer, a, a building a circuit, you need to build it on a breadboard. It's a temporary board used in building an electronic circuit. So now this is our capacitor with the reading 25 volts, 1000 microfarad. Yeah, that is it. It's polarized. There's our capacitor. And here is the output voltage. And that is the LED. That is our LED lighting is being. We have plugged it on the power supply, and it's working perfectly well. So that is our diode. There, those are these are the connection. This is our voltage regulator also. Voltage regulator connection done on the ver the breadboard before converting it to the variable. This is the connection and. That we are, I'm showing you how the voltage regulator is configured. It has input, outputs, and base. The middle side is the base that I'm touching right now. The base, the middle side. Um, the the side at the left hand side is the input. The, the one delivering the current out to the resistor direct is the output, and that is where the voltage you tap it from. And here is our resistor 1 kilo ohm. After testing it on the breadboard, we need to convert it to our variable. This is a connection has been done already. I want to make the video so short. So this is our primary coil, one of the primary coil 
of the transformer so we are going to connect our wire our jumper wire using our circuit diagram remember that is our circuit diagram is connected to one diode so this is our jumper wire we we'll jumper it to the middle side of the transistor the voltage regulator that is the base this is the negative side we we'll jumper it out and this is another wire we we'll take it tap it from the capacitor to the inputs of the voltage regulator and also to the diode that is connected to the capacitor and to the input of the voltage regulator from our circuit diagram then soda let's solder anything you do make sure you refer back to your circuit diagram when building it so after soldering yeah there is the soldering yes and this is the output voltage and we cut out the the excess jumper wire then we test run it before plugging our phone you need to test run it if it's giving higher volt or lower so now it's giving us five volts direct five volts so it's perfectly working well now let's use it to charge our phone to see if it's working as you can see it's charging very well it's charging efficiently so this is a brief explanation of how our board was made how the diagram was converted to a variable this is our connection wire running from the transformer base to the base of the transistor down and this is the outputs this is it this is our capacitor our diode our diode this is the primary coil so please if you are new here do well to subscribe hit the notification button to get notified anytime i drop a new video thank you very much I remain the great phone repairs. Subscribe to my channel, please. Share, like, share with your friends if you have learned anything. Thank you very much for now. Bye bye. <laughs> Till next time.